With just over two weeks left until Election Day, both presidential candidates are hitting the campaign trails very hard in the final stretch. Vice President Kamala Harris is making visits to Democratic-leaning states, while former President Trump stopped in North Carolina to see the damage left behind by Hurricane Helene. NBC's Bree Jackson has the details. Presidential campaigns in overdrive. Former President Trump making three stops in North Carolina, including a visit to a community hit hard by Hurricane Helene. Trump expressing confidence in efforts to ensure those impacted still have their voices heard at the ballot box. I mean, we're so impressed and uh, I think they have a pretty good system here. I have not heard any complaints about that. Vice President Harris on a three-state blitz, seeking to shore up Democratic support in blue wall states while reaching out to skeptical Republicans. Doubling down on her pledge to appoint a member of the GOP to her cabinet if elected. We need to be able to have these good, intense debates about issues that are grounded in fact. <laughs> The stakes and voter enthusiasm are high as more states begin early voting. Top of mind is the economy, very high. Everything's high. I'm Catholic, I don't like abortions, but I don't believe they have the right to tell you what to do and not to do. Candidates are feeling the pressure. Trump's attacks on the campaign trail going from aggressive to profane. We can't stand you, you're a sh Vice President. Donald Trump should never again stand behind the seal of the President of the United States. He has not earned the right. Both candidates have just 15 days to convince voters they're the right person for the job. In Washington, Bree Jackson, NBC News.